You want to be my girlfriend? All right, but Sal and Bob is to live with us, and you pay the rent. No. Ladies and gentlemen, our, uh, our first guest of the new season is the director who made his name with his movie Clerks. His latest movie, Dogma, stars Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Linda Florentino, and Alanis Morissette. Yes. Probably one of the finest actresses of our generation. It opens in theaters November 12th. Please welcome a man they call Silent Bob, Kevin Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Canada. I don't even know where if you spent any time here. I've spent a lot of time up here. Have you? I'm a big uh, Canada fan. Really? That's so. all from Degrassi Junior High, though. <laughs> <laughs> like that that's how I learned about the Great White North. Man. That's Are you how serious? things. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I figured out that's how things worked, and I was just like, how come there are no streetcars in New Jersey? You know? Right. It seemed like right. a, a happening place to be. Yeah, I'm sure there were streetcars in New Jersey at one time. Someone probably took them. Got rid of them. They were just in that. <laughs> Be, uh, them all. My assumption. Now, how do, you, how do you like the festival so far? Has it been good to you? It's been good. It's been really mm -hmm. good to us. We've screened twice, and both screenings are really successful. And mm -hmm. Talking mm -hmm. to the press, which is nice. You know, mm -hmm. at least they don't not want to talk to me. Now, the uh, the two stars of the film are uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh. See, yeah. they, they've heard about. I hope them that a certain demographic will come out to see the movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you brought a uh, you brought a clip of the film with you. And I, uh, I don't know if this scene uh, has Matt and uh, Ben in it. Uh, yeah, I couldn't come without a clip from, of them. Matt and Ben? Oh, yeah, they're, they're on it. <laughs> you can check it out. A clip of them will often get you the money for a film these days, won't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know these guys, and they're like, good, good, there's yeah. some well, yeah. cash. But this, isn't the, uh, this isn't the first film you've done with them. No, um, I, I was actually involved with, with Good Will Hunting. I was an exec producer on that. And, mm -hmm. and Ben I'd worked with on Chasing Amy, and Matt had a very small part in that. Mm -hmm. Who knew? You, know, you, I you, cast changed him real the, uh, you changed the life of a bar owner here in Toronto when you filmed uh, that uh, one standout scene there. How so? He uh, got a lot of money for uh, closing his bar for a week, and you folks renovated it. And uh, enough, though, that he never had to open again. Up here? Yeah. Oh, well, Good Will yeah, Hunting. The, yeah, right, the right, bar right. on That's Front right. Street there. Yes. Yeah, we, were there. There, we uh, were there. That day. There I went in there for lunch one day, and he's only open 10 minutes a day now. He's got so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I commend you guys for uh, really we, having we a positive effect. We do what we can, effect. you know, to help out our brothers yeah. to the north. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was great. Now, you brought the clip with you, so let's take a look at it. Do you cool. want to set it up? or? Ben and Matt. Ben and Matt. <laughs> Thinking about you, man. Why do you feel the need to come to this place all the time? Oh, uh, my friend, because this is humanity at its best. Uh, Look at them. All that anger, all that mistrust, all that unhappiness. Uh, forgotten for that one perfect moment when they get off the plane. See those two? What that guy doesn't know is that the girl cheated on him while she was away. She did? Twice. Nice. But it doesn't matter right now, because they're just both so relieved to be with one another. I like that. Uh, it's, it's not the funniest scene in the world. No, there are quite a few funny scenes in it. <laughs> yeah, but, it's a kind uh, of dry The country clip. is predominantly Catholic. Right, right, right. <laughs> I've noticed that. <laughs> take any chances. I was now, getting, now uh, the movie is uh, about faith or lack of. Right, right. I guess in some cases. And right. uh, what was it that made you do a movie that uh, I guess hit home where Catholicism is concerned? Because it really does. Uh, the chicks, man. Nothing but the yeah. chicks. <laughs> chicks are real big on faith, I hear. And, uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually just a kind of a way to, you know, I'm a pretty big Catholic. and um, both You're a pretty big Catholic? Pretty big Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> We're those big boy Catholic sizes. And um, it was just kind of a way to celebrate that faith and make a few yeah. dick and fart jokes in the process. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> it's so hard to combine the two outside of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, you go to, uh, do you go to church on a regular basis? I do. Basis? I, go, I go to church every Sunday, pretty much. Right. right. I couldn't. I didn't go yesterday up here, though. Yeah. You couldn't didn't understand. Go, you didn't go I, to I, church here in Canada? No, I just couldn't understand any priests speaking that foreign Canadian language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Believes, We're here to uh, talk about Jesus. Man. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, in a very uh, 
uh, I find unique casting move. You cast uh, Lannis Morissette as God, or right. if you would say here, good, good. But uh, <laughs> you, you cast Lannis Morissette as God. Right, right. Why? Why did you choose Lannis? Uh, you want the real answer or the answer that will get me applause from the audience? Uh, films in the can. <laughs> uh, film is in the can, isn't it? I mean, God had to be a Canadian, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, which doesn't really explain Vancouver, but please continue. <laughs> uh, uh, no, she was a, she was a friend, and and, and I kind of wanted to work with her. And I, I can't sing, and I don't write music, so right. we had the part in the movie that was kind of open. And uh, she was getting back from India at the time, and she called up. She said, "You shooting that movie?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Can I come out and play?" I said, "Yeah, sure, come on. I don't know if anyone will know you, but you know, come on, right. be in the flick." And uh, she came out, and it turned out pretty well. Yeah, I thought uh, it was also very. Uh, well, it was, it was uh, a perfect coup to cast George Carlin as a cardinal. Yeah, he oh, it yeah. was great. It was like a role he was born to play. Yeah, and he, he, <laughs> after we were all done, he goes, if you have any more uh, roles for me in movies, I'd really like to play an old man that strangles children. <laughs> 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 I was like, I'll, I'll get to work on one of those real quick, you know. <laughs> He's a funny cat. So he wants to be stereotyped as a cardinal. That's <laughs> a <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't believe I said calm down. All right, now are you still into conflicts? Because I've read that. Uh... Yeah, I just I got finished with a stint on a Daredevil a stint, we call it. Right? Yeah. And uh, I wrote eight issues of that comic book for Marvel Comics, and we also do these um, adaptations, or not even adaptations, with spinoffs of some of the flicks we've done. We've done like some Clerks comics. And right. We did a, a miniseries featuring the Jay and Silent Bob characters. It took them from the, the end of Chasing Amy, the last book they were in, to the first time we see them in Dogma. Right. And that was kind of fun. And then we also uh, started sending out the comic to, to some of the people we worked with. And off of that, we wound up getting a, an animated series deal. So in mm -hmm. March, um, on ABC in the States, I don't know what it's going to be up here, there's going to be a Clerks cartoon, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I get to have my own Clerks <laughs> ABC, uh, ABC in the States is TVO up here. Is it? <laughs> you don't have to trust me on that. <laughs> now, uh, did you uh, build Dogma for Clerks? Because you have a tendency to uh, build your next movie at the end I, of the I current. I did, yeah. Oh. Kinda, I, like, I like the way they did that in the James Bond movies, right? Yeah. But they have yeah. a lot more money. But yeah. um, I, I pretty much tipped the hat that we were going to do that next. And we just wound up putting it off and putting it off and doing it a few years later. Right. So right. finally, you know, it's kind of out here. Now, when you when you do that, it's often two years between the time the movie is built and the time it uh, mm -hmm. hits the big screen, or perhaps it's even written. Do you find you uh, become a slave to the title? Or um, yeah, you have but an it idea was, in your was, head before you do it. Yeah, I was kind of fond of the title, though. It wasn't wasn't one of those things I was going to change, like Wacky yeah. Angels Come to Earth or something yeah. like that. Dogma yeah. kind of fit the picture. <laughs> I was going to go for open mic, but it was taken. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So I stuck with Dogma. It'll be available again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming Thanks by. Thanks for having me. Busy. Real pleasure. Dogma opens November 12th all across North America, ladies and gentlemen, and I can uh, certainly give you an unqualified thumbs up on that. It's a great film. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Kevin. We'll be right back with a Hollywood reporter calling us George Christie.